to meet a guy that she met online. She's also there with her cousin and her cousin's friends um, who are just your, uh, they just want to be there for DJ Avicii to bed him and wed him, so to speak. Oh, God, I'm so old. And so, um, <laughs> so, but Crystal really is there to meet this guy, Jordan, and so she goes in with very, very high expectations and thinking the night is going to go one way and it goes a different way and she just has to deal and make do. And, um, and I think that's, that's really great to see her character's arc. So Ethan's already a kind of a, a socially anxious kind of, I don't want to say tweaky guy, but he's like, he's definitely not confident in himself or his, you know, his music yet. And when he doesn't have his support system, you know, his best friend with him, he kind of just, he starts to lose it with everything else around him, you know, disintegrating. And it's at the end, it's sort of just about him coming to terms with himself and with his music and realizing that he is enough just as he is. And um, I think he figures that out by the end. Anytime that you saw me on stage, um, it was essentially organized by Pete, um, you know, because he, I mean, he's just such a mogul in the industry. He just, he knows everyone. So getting to shadow him a little bit and, um, you know, basically just get to meet the people that he met was really informative for my character. And he's just such a cool guy. And the soundtrack that he managed to put together and get access to is absolutely killer. So it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. We shot at four different music festivals. So, um, it, so I think that's what is really authentic about this film is that it has that energy and uh, the, uh, the presence of a real EDM music festival. Um, so I think uh, I think that's is, is what's really great about it. And and we had a great time. It brought so much more to our characters, especially for me, and um, just to feel that energy and all of that love and and tenacity of the people. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Getting to film at, a, at real life festivals as opposed to us, you know, fabricating, you know, our own production of a festival. It, it made my life a lot easier, you know, being up on stage and, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't take a lot for me to get pumped up and feel, you know, a lot of adrenaline uh, when I was actually in front of all those people who were, you know, there to actually see real DJs and listen to music, so. Was it, it, was it 80,000? I'm making that, that number up, but it sounds right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this interview. As always, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. For the next Made in Hollywood interview, click right here. Do it. Click it.